what's up guys welcome to top form for you uh, today i'm gonna share a quick review about the huawei mapad 10.4 inch i've been using it for the past five weeks and uh, here's what i think in terms of the specs the tablet is uh, quite thin it's only 7.35 uh, mil thickness i just take it out the case so you can see yeah um it is yeah as you can see there it's a very thin very light it weighs about uh, 450 grams and it's very well built and um, it comes uh, with a 2k screen uh, with a resolution of uh, 2000 by 1200 uh, pixel resolution then the screen is quite fast smooth when you scroll through apps and um, it's uh, quite good everything is uh, working fine so this one is the 4 gig ram and 64 uh, gig storage version and uh, all the apps games seems to be uh, i've been playing a few games PUBG, call of duty and is everything runs smoothly as it should and um, so uh, and the sound quality as well is uh, excellent it's got four stereo speaker uh, two on the top as you can see there and then uh, another two at the bottom there and it's come with a USB-C fast charging battery it lasts uh, a few days I can use it for three days without even charging it so I must say this is one of the best tablet for that sort of money here in the UK and um, it's selling for about 230 uh, to uh, 270 pound can claim up to 80 pound cash back so for that sort of money i must say this is the best tablet i've used for that sort of money so the only downside uh, to it it just it doesn't um, as you might be aware it doesn't support google services anymore but um, I'll tell you how I've been using it without the Google services uh, and uh, my alternative to Google services in terms of using apps which requires uh, Google Play Store or Google services. There is no fingerprint scanner, uh, but I use uh, the face unlock, which works fine and um, all the time. So it's just as you can see there straight fast unlocking even if it's in portrait i put the tablet in portrait can just unlock it there fine no problem i've not had any issue with the unlock screen so uh, i've got i also got the uh, the keyboard the smart keyboard and it felt nice as well i've been using it for the past uh, two weeks and uh, I will highly recommend if you got the tablet to get the case as well. And um, this is the accessory you need and it makes things a lot easier. And it connects uh, through Bluetooth. Once um, you dock it there and then it will automatically connect the keyboard. And uh, you can just uh, start using the keyboard and type in. Okay, fine. And when you don't need the keyboard, you fold it at the back, it will switch off the the keyboard so you don't miss you don't touch the keys at the back by mistake and interrupting what you're doing. The tablet is running the latest uh, EMUI uh, version um, uh, based on Android 10.1. There are lots of uh, uh, different ways you can get Google services on this tablet, but all of them don't work if you have uh, the latest uh, uh, firmware. They only work if you have an older version um, of uh, the firmware dated uh, before June 2020. Other than that, there is no way you can get uh, Google services. As soon as I find a way to get Google Play Store on this tablet, I'll uh, make another video. So uh, please make sure you subscribe and enable notification to be alerted once that video goes live. So uh, here's how uh, I use my tablet. As you can see, I've got quite a few apps there and uh, I have uh, uh, the uh, these uh, four app stores I use. I, I use Petal Search, which is quite good uh, because when you open it and search for 
an app um, it tells you if I'm gonna search for eBay so if it's available it redirect me to install it like this so uh, and if it's not compatible as you can see there if it's not compatible with the tablet or require Google services it will just put an icon there for go it directs you to the website and then I give you the option at the bottom there where you can add a, a shortcut to your home screen as a, so you, if you, once you tap on that that creates a, an icon as you can see there with the shortcuts using the browser so that's what does it doesn't install the app for you because it requires uh, Google services and um, so I'll say I've got APK pure as well which uh, you just uh, search uh, open it up and search for any any app I'm just gonna try Netflix and then it gives you the app there I've already got it installed so that's why it says open and then you can install it that way um, and another app this is the one I use most of the time this Aurora store um, which I find it very very easy and straightforward to use I can just uh, search for any app and then it would install it for me so i've already got it installed it's very easy no adverts nothing so where uh, i've got a few apps there you can install and use it i say 90 percent of the time i just use uh, this uh, aurora app store and you have uh, the app gallery which is uh, quite good as well there is a few apps on there at the moment more and more apps are getting added uh, every day uh, and everything seems to be working fine so uh, apps um, like uh, Google Classroom um, that's uh, a shortcut created um, as again from uh, my uh, uh, my home screen uh, by using the browser uh, Google Meet, Google Drive um, they're all uh, using uh, the browser at the moment you cannot install it unless you have google services so they're all using the browser if uh, if i want to upload anything to google drive um, i just need to uh, enable desktop version and then from here i can just go onto my drive there and then upload any file from the tablet and um, the only thing it won't do it won't sync up automatically because it's using the browser um, i've done another video how you can install uh, them how you can create this shortcut uh, feel free to check my uh, other video or i'll leave a link in the description below you know, for you to check it out and um, youtube i've got two ways i i access youtube one uh, from the browser got youtube kid uh, again that's using the browser and for people who want to use they've got kids uh, like me who want to use uh, that for their kids you could, that use the browser and everything seems to work fine as well and um, so uh, I've, the other way i access youtube by using youtube advanced i've got the app here again there is a video um, which I'll leave the link in the description below how you can have it installed this one uh, will connect it to your it run like uh, the app and then you can just access your channels login and everything seems to work as it should as you're using the YouTube app no difference just tap on the video and then play and you can open it full screen you can have it minimize, have it a floating screen uh, in there. And then it support, you can have it playing in the background as well. So, and then you have a floating screen. So if you wanna do other things, you can just have that run in the background while you browse the web and move it to whatever side you wanna keep it. So, uh, that's the best option for you to use uh, uh, YouTube if uh, you want to use the app instead of the browser. So I highly recommend using uh, YouTube Advanced. It's quite good and everything works as it should. You can log into your YouTube account and use it as normal as the YouTube app. No problem at all. 
So uh, I've got uh, these apps. I've got Gmail by using Outlook. Again, there's a video on the description link how you can uh, uh, log into your, your Gmail and sync your contact by using Outlook. I've got um, a few apps here I'm using AliExpress, um, Facebook, as you can see. I've got Chrome, Telegram, WhatsApp. They're all working fine. Um, you can just uh, straightforward open Aurora store, APK Pure, install the apps and Amazon, eBay require Google services that uh, a shortcut there through the web browser. Um, I got a few games, it uh, works fine if it doesn't, they don't require Google services. Then I've um, got Fortnite, Call of Duty, PUBG uh, installed and working fine. Okay, I have a Galaxy wearable because I use the uh, Galaxy Buds Live and uh, it connects fine as soon as you open it works as it should everything works fine as you can see there it's connected the settings all the settings are there so um, and everything works as it should in terms of streaming um, if I want to do any video uh, I've got some UK channel which uh, will work fine and um, it's it depends different countries have different apps for their tv or uh, netflix got netflix there and uh, it's working as it should no problem everything works just play and then it will play straight away so uh, no problem um, just uh, go back and i have um, spotify working bbc our iPlayer in the UK working fine, no problem. You just type on it uh, and it opens straight away. And you can watch live TV by watching live, no problem. So um, I've got some app like ITV Hub and when I open it it will come up an error saying that it won't run it or Google services uh, uh, are not currently supported but you, if when you tap OK and then everything works fine so uh, no problem so as you can see there you can just tap play then everything works as it should but it's just uh, only a warning and um, same the same happened to this app here when you open it it will come up let's say uh, google services is uh, required which are not supported on your device but only anything you need to do just tap ok and uh, there you go everything is there running no problem as, as you can see there it's all running fine no problem and um, i've got prime video it's logged in working no problem as well so uh, as you can see there just watch and everything works fine as you, as you can see there no, 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 no. hi yeah. experienced travelers passing through so everything is fine and on that side as well as you can see there that's amazon prime video playing on the background you can just close it yeah, that's how I use the tablet. If you do a lot of uh, mobile banking by using the app, the only option is just use the browser. I will not uh, advise uh, to search for banking apps through third party um, app store. Uh, please don't do it. It's not worth it. Just uh, use the web browser and log into your bank. Or if you have uh, another phone, we support Google services, use your mobile phone. That's what I do. I use my phone. Um, I've got a Samsung phone, um, so I uh, just use uh, my phone to access uh, any banking apps. The only one that I have here is PayPal, and so that's the only app I've got here. Other than that, any of my bank stuff just go through uh, the web browser or I use uh, my uh, laptop or my phone to access it. So I've got another option I use. Uh, for apps which require access to Google services, but I rarely use it. I use Vmos. I'm just gonna load it up for you to see. Uh, Vmos hardware requirement: uh, you need to have at least a two gig free RAM, 
um, before you can use it. If you let's say your tablet uh, uh, comes with only two gig of RAM, don't bother installing VMOS because you'll get some errors. You, you won't have enough resources to run it. So uh, I would recommend uh, at least four gig of RAM um, before you can think of using VMOS. As you can see there, I have VMOS uh, installed and uh, running fine. So uh, I've got the Play Store, which I can just open and then install any app I want uh, without any problem. Prime Video, so I'm just gonna click on install and there you go, it will install it fine. As you can see, no problem using the Play Store. That's uh, another option. Um, if I have apps which should definitely require Google services and I want to use it, so I just open and everything will work fine. There you go, it's asking to log in. Google Lens um, here works with, uh, it works fine. As you can see, it will just load up the camera and there you can scan uh, something and it will find it for you. I've got a few apps which require google services um, and and uh, this seems to be working and um, but that's not guaranteed that all the apps will work please note that some uh, uh, game require the real uh, hardware uh, information and uh, sensor to work uh, on a so uh, they won't work on the virtual machine uh, since uh, this is a virtual android uh, running on top of emui some game might not work properly and uh, another thing uh, this uh, running on android uh, 7.1 uh, which is quite old and they might not be compatible with the game you're trying to run so only a few games will run fine but others might not work it's not guaranteed that all the games will work uh, the time i'm not using it i just uh, shut it down uh, to stop it from slowing down on me, uh, the tablet itself. So uh, the question you need to ask yourself before you buy one, um, do I need uh, Google services or do I need Google Play Store to run all my app? Uh, if the answer is yes, then don't buy it. If uh, you can get by uh, without the Google services, then definitely it's worth uh, buying one of these because the everything works, the picture quality, the the games it, it, once you get your games on uh, it will, will run fine i've been playing a few games no problem at all on it most apps as you can see there are working fine no problem okay that's uh that's it from me uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel it's free and uh, make sure you enable notification for more video i'll be making more video as soon as i find a way to uh, install play store on the latest uh, firmware i'll make another video so make sure you enable notification to get alerted when uh, my new videos go live uh, thank you for watching keep safe and i'll see you on the next one